Hi everyone. I'm glad you joined me to watch this video because this was a very exciting week for me. I made two trips to the American Girl Play Store in New York City. The first trip I purchased all the items you're looking at here uh, to the left in this thumbnail and I came home after my trip to the store and I did an unboxing and showed you everything. I included a link to this video down below if you wanted to check that out. One of the items I purchased and share with you in the unboxing is these shoes. I bought these shoes because I like the top part of them but I did not like the pink on the bottom and I figured since the shoes were only $14 I wasn't really risking too much in terms of a big investment here. I came home, I turned my camera on just to capture this and I thought I would do a narrated DIY on these shoes with this video, but I realized that there were things I didn't do and I would not recommend painting the bottom of the shoe without covering the top of the shoe with tape or something to protect it. I really liked the transformation and getting rid of the pink sole and the next day I went back to the store to buy more shoes so I could customize them. In this video I'm going to show you how to change the original version of the shoes on top and make all three of the styles on the bottom. Let's quickly run through the supplies you're going to need. Clorox wipes, painter's tape, polyurethane. I used the matte finish, acrylic white paint, paint brushes, the shoes obviously, black paint marker, and scissors. And this is everything you need. The first step is to cover the top of the shoe with painter's tape and try to get it as close as you can to the base of the top part of the shoe. Now we need to get our markers. These are the paint markers that I use for many things when I'm crafting and I just love the amount of coverage that you get from these markers and also the flow of the paint is really good. You can press on the top of the marker on a surface and then you'll get more paint that will come out or if you don't do that it will come out slowly. So I just like the ability to control how much paint comes out and the coloring and the coverage is really good as well. Now you just need to find something that you could put the shoes on so that they can dry. I'm going to use this hand sanitizer since it fits perfectly inside the shoe. And then I stand the bottle up and let it dry. Unfortunately, the white paint marker that came with this set does not provide enough of coverage, as you can see. Since that didn't work, I just took off the paint that I already applied with a Clorox wipe. And I grabbed a bottle of white acrylic paint. And that's what I used to cover the soles and I applied a couple of coats.
so our shoes are all painted and dry and now we're going to seal the paint to make sure that it doesn't chip and just give them a lot more durability. I'm going to be using this polyurethane. I've used it before in many craft projects and it's fantastic. I'm using matte. You can either get a matte color or a gloss color. And I'm sure you could use uh, Mod Podge or some other craft products that coat your crafts. But I prefer this because I know that it's very durable. I removed the painter's tape before I applied the polyurethane, but this is your own preference. You can do whatever makes sense for you. I wanted to be able to get very close to the shoe, or at least that top part of the shoe where it has the ridges. So taking the painter's tape off that was jammed up in there, I would be able to get really close to the, the top of the shoe. So, and as you can see, some of the painter's tape has black on it. That's what I did. That's your own personal preference. Uh, I don't want you to ruin your shoes. So do whatever you're most comfortable with. Now let's take a look at the final outcome. What do you think? I think they look great. So here are three pairs of shoes, and I really like the final outcome. I have another pair that I'm going to show you right now. It's basically the black bottoms, and I took the chain off, so I just want to show you how that came out. This is what the shoe looks like without the chain, and basically there's a, a bunch of thread that holds the chain in place on the side of the shoe, and all you need to do is snip it right here and take it out and just get a pair of tweezers to pull the thread out from inside the shoe. And now the chain's gone. I really like how they came out. What do you think? Do you have a favorite pair? Let me know which one, drop a comment below. I'm curious. Now here's the final one without the chain. And of course, when I finish this pair of shoes, I, I have an idea. You ready for it? Here you go. Anybody that knows me knows I have horses and I love horses and I got this Snapple bit. Well, I didn't get it yet. I ordered it yesterday off Amazon and I got a package of seven and when it comes in, I think it will fit on the shoe and if it doesn't, I'll probably remove the middle piece and use a smaller link to put them together and fit it on the shoe. And then my dolls will be in style because with the, the horse bit on the shoe, it looks like a Gucci shoe. So there you go. Here are the Gucci loafers. The only difference is that the doll shoes are patent leather and maybe Gucci does make a pair that's patent leather. But quite frankly, I love the doll shoes and how they came out. I cannot wait for the horse bit hardware to get here in a few days. Uh, when I get it, I'm going to put them on my shoes and I'll post some pictures in the Facebook groups and maybe on the community page here on YouTube. If you'd like to see pictures once I finish them, let me know in the comments below so I can gauge the level of interest. Let's go to my dolly room so I could show you the shoes on the dolls. So here we are in the doll room. Let's go over here. Here are the dolls that I dressed for another video that I'm making. And in that video, I'll be showing you and talking about their outfits and the pieces that I used in a lot more detail, the tattoos that they have on, uh, the wigs and a lot of other things. But this is what you're here for. The main event is the shoes. So you can see they go really nicely with different looks or at least I think they do in the looks that I selected here. This girl is going out for Valentine's Day. And yeah, I'm sure you could see she looks pretty different in her midsection area there. We don't have to talk about that, but yes, my dolls are adults. So if you're a child and you're watching my channel, you really shouldn't be here. Uh, <laughs> I like all of these looks and I have many more to show you and additional pieces of clothing and socks and other items that I know you're going to like. For example, these Argyle socks. 
I paired these up with something else and I created an outfit that messed. They look really good. So if you're interested in that video and you're not a subscriber, now is a good time to press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get an alert when that video posts. So before I end this video, as I always do, I want to recommend a few videos for you to check out if you haven't already watched them. I included a link to all these videos in the description below, and I also included a link to the mini horse bit hardware that I purchased on Amazon that should be arriving in a few days in the event that you want to purchase it as well and do the same thing. I hope you enjoyed this video because I had fun putting it together. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you thought about it. Do you like what I did to the shoes? Do you have a favorite pair that I transformed? Are you going to do the same thing to your dolly shoes? Let me know. Well, anyway, take care of yourself. And until next time, remember, AGTV for life.